So I'm an entertainer, and I'm going to entertain you, okay? And if later, um, after the song, if I get an idea, I will expose you to it, okay? Uh, and this song is in Hindi, so you're not going to understand it, but I want you to clap on it. Can you do it? Okay. Ye man me lo sab thaan, o thaan, Hame aids mokt jeevan chahiye, Ye man me lo sab thaan, o thaan, Hame aids mokt jeevan chahiye, Saathi bas ek hi piyara ho, Saathi bas ek hi piyara ho, Sambandh usi se hamara ho, संबंध उसी से हमारा हो किसी गैर के ओ किसी गैर के पास न जाए ओ जाए हमें एड्स मुक्त जीवन चाहिए कॉन्डम साथ ही रखना है खतरे का स्वाद न चखना है कॉन्डम साथ ही रखना है खतरे का स्वाद न चखना है HIV, HIV जाच कराए, कराए, हमें एड्स मुक्त जीवन चाहिए. Thank you very much. Now I think I should tell you the meaning also. The first stanza was, this song was about HIV, HIV AIDS, right? You heard those words, AIDS, HIV, and you heard another word also, right? Condom, right? Hmm. Good. I think you understood the meaning. I don't even have to tell you. Right? Okay. Well, the first answer was that be faithful to your partner. Hmm. Don't go into untested waters. Don't stray. Okay. The second instance was if you ever do, don't forget protection. Hmm. That's where you heard the word condom, okay. <laughs> now, I think, you know, um, ah, I have an idea. You know. I think I want you to give this idea that just be entertainers. Just be entertainers, and you can change the world for better. And you must be thinking, this is a crazy guy from India, right? You know. <laughs> He does Bollywood, we have seen Bollywood, they are just dancing around the trees, correct? <laughs> they only know about entertainment, huh? Hmm. You cannot change the world uh, through entertainment. What are you talking about? We need rational thought. Hmm? We need some good ideas to change the world. But tell you the truth, let me tell you the truth. The world of information, the world of ideas are not going to do anything good if, if you or your audiences are not engaged, right? I mean, people haven't changed the world through stats. People have changed the world through engaging, through engagement of their audiences. And that, let me tell you that entertainment is one of the most effective tools of engaging your audiences. Whether you want to change your boyfriend, or whether you want to change your girlfriend, or whether you change the world, you have to be an entertainer. Now, when we say entertainment, usually we think, uh, usually we think that entertainment is all about laughter. Entertainment, when we get entertained, we think that we are laughing, we are having good time. That's fine, we are having good time. But entertainment is not only about the light side. Entertainment is not only about laughing. Entertainment is also about crying sometimes, right? You remember those chick flicks, right? When you cry, right? You do get entertained, right? Hmm. Entertain has both sides, if you see, right? You know, from Greek times, you have comedy and tragedy. So entertainment is, is a tool, is an experience where you get both sides. You get fulfilled and you get engaged. True entertainment, underline true entertainment, uh, means engagement. Entertainment is a process where your body, where your mind, 
and your heart all come together. And that's how you get engaged. Once you are engaged, you are ready to listen. And once you are ready to listen, you can be given new ideas and you are going to understand them, right? Okay, so, as I said, engagement. And engagement leads to effective communication and you can use that effective communication actually to make the world a better place. So I'm not saying that uh, you know you should not have no, you should have no thought behind entertainment. Entertainment generally always has a thought, and you can design your entertainment according to what you want to do. Now, what about the medium? Okay, we are talking about entertainment. Uh, how to entertain people? Live entertainment, that's good. Interpersonal, right? Uh, it can be community-based entertainment where a group of people come and dance together, maybe, right? Okay. Or it can be mass media. Hmm? Well, I'll give you three examples of all these media. The first example is, yay, infomercials. Aha. Uh -huh. They change you, right, forever? Snuggies, huh? Or George Foreman Grill, correct? No, I'm just joking, but I'm not joking. Okay. <laughs> because, you know, advertising is all about what? Entertaining, right? People talk about, like, you know, whenever I'm teaching a class, I ask my students, what do you remember from media? They say, I remember those funny ads. I said, why do you remember that? Because they're funny, they're humorous. See, they're talking about entertainment here. So, I'm talking about advertising here. Mass media uh, has been using entertainment very effectively to change you, to buy. And somebody was talking about consumerism. Why do you buy that iPhone, you know? How does that hype is created, you know? Through entertainment. Well, there have been other television programs with much, I would say, much more meaningful themes than Snuggies, you know? Uh, for instance, Simplemente Maria in, uh, in, in Peru, in Latin America, was so popular in 1970s, it was telenovela or soap opera. It was so popular that thousands of young women, thousands of young women actually became literate, inspired by that telenovela, because the central character, the protagonist, was an illiterate woman, and throughout the soap opera, she is struggling as a single woman, and then she becomes literate, and then she becomes educated, and then she climbed the ladders of society. So there have been many examples where mass media has been used to entertain, engage, and change the world. Now, let me come to the second example, which is community. This is my own example. I was a consultant uh, to United Nations um, uh, program and uh, also to um, USAID um, uh, campaign on HIV. It's USAID is United States Agency for International Development and Johns Hopkins University and Government of India, they all came together to create a folk media campaign, which means folk performances in Northern India. And we created special entertaining scripts to talk about HIV AIDS and women's empowerment and health issues. It became so popular that till now, more than 10,000 performances have been done all over northern India. And it's still going on. Why? Because audiences demand more and more. And this is not just about laughing. I was there, and many times after the performance, people will come very secretly to me and say, can I get tested? because I'm so afraid, I'm so scared of my own community that they will stigmatize me, you know, th there will be stigma on me if I openly say that I'm, I'm feeling really sick. There's something wrong with me, and I did something wrong. So, you know, and of course in those entertaining stories, people are crying also. There are themes where people are sad, people are happy, but they do get engaged. So this is, this is a photograph from one of the performances where this little girl is actually singing a song about access to education for little girls. Okay, my third example. 
I want to uh, introduce you to two great entertainers on an interpersonal, who were great entertainers on an interpersonal level. So we have discussed mass media, we have discussed community-based entertainment, now let's talk about interpersonal. And of course you know those entertainers. Gandhi, oh my God, you never thought he was an entertainer, right? He was an entertainer. And, hmm, Martin Luther King. Don't you think they both moved the crowds? They both were very effective communicators. They could change people's thoughts. They could change people's emotions. They could get them to action. How? I'm sure through engagement. Let me tell you, but their, their styles were very different. Uh, Mahatma Gandhi was more like a stand-up comedian. Wow, you're angry with me, right? You're upset, right? right? Yeah, he was, he was. Why? He, used, he, was, he had a very plain style. Have you seen those stand-up comedians where they don't laugh at all, but they make you laugh, right? They don't cry, but they make you cry. No, not really crying, but you know. Uh, Mahatma Gandhi was very plain speaking, but he engaged his audiences so well that on his one call, millions of people will come out on streets. He did not have a magic formula. He was just a good com communicator. Martin Luther King was a great entertainer. He had a little more dramatic style. I have heard his speeches. I wish one day I can also speak like that. He was amazing. He could, he could just move people's emotions. So, I'm sure, I mean, what I want you to get out of this thing is to change your thinking. Change your thinking when you think that I have to do something about this issue. So I really have to collect tons of information, I really have to make plans, this and that. No, the first step is to engage. Always think about engaging and think about entertainment. So, guys, Go out and change the world. Be entertainers. Thank you.